my darling friends. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to open this video, the time for yourself to maybe view this video. <laughs> um, today is going to be about taking care of ourselves, being kind to ourselves. And on this rainy, rainy Paris day, um, we're going to do a practice that's entirely laying down on the floor. So you don't need a yoga mat, you can have a carpet or a towel, you don't need yoga clothes. <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite, most comfortable outfit. Um, you can keep your socks on. <laughs> so when you're ready, go ahead and allow yourself to get settled laying down on the earth. And I'm going to read a quote that I've been bringing into my classes this week from the book All Grown Up by Jamie Attenberg. You are not not talented. That is a thing that fills you up. You sit with yourself. You allow yourself that pleasure of liking yourself. What is this is enough. So for these next few yoga moments, see if you can allow yourself the pleasure of liking yourself. We take care of our bodies here. We take care of our minds. And we remind ourselves that it's a metaphor of the airplane where you, before you can help anybody else, you have to put the mask on yourself. So before we can practice kindness and love towards others, we have to make sure that we're doing it for our own self. And you've already done that today by getting prepared for some yoga. So laying down on the earth. Allow yourself to make a connection to your breath. Feel the weight of the body against the floor, the weight of the heels against the floor. The shoulders melting down, allowing them to fall away from the ears, maybe finding a lift of the chest, bringing the shoulder blades together. We make sure we have a nice long extension of the spine. And we're going to start really slowly here by moving and wiggling the fingers and the toes. The head can be I'm sorry, the eyes can be completely relaxed. You can close them if that's comfortable. And you might make this movement a little bigger by gently dropping the head from one side, then to the other side. So we're moving the fingers, the toes, maybe the wrists, the ankles maybe activating, releasing the kneecaps, dropping the head back and forth. You might throw in some circles of the jaw to relax the muscles of your face. And then we'll allow a big inhale to extend our arms overhead, point the toes and stretch the entire body wiggling around on the floor whatever feels amazing here in this moment. And we'll find a side body stretch by bringing the left foot to the bottom left corner of the mat, perhaps guiding the right ankle on top, catching a hold of our right wrist with our left hand and reaching towards the left side of your mat, pressing the hips to the right. So creating this kind of banana shape here as you breathe in, feel the skin stretch across the rib cage. Feel the stretch happening from the hip all the way through that right hand down to the ankle. And when you're ready, we'll gently move to the opposite side, guiding the right ankle to the bottom right corner. The left ankle on top, we catch a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. And we exhale to reach the hands towards the right side of the room, pressing the hips to the left, finding a lovely side body stretch here. Each breath in, 
you visualize feeling the torso like a balloon, feeling that space between the ribs. And exhale, allow yourself to come back to center. Guide the arms to the side of the body. Plant the feet into the earth, hip width distance. Make sure you can brush the backs of the heels with your fingertips. And we're going to find just a gentle flowing movement of bridge with our arms. So grounding into both feet, keeping the knees parallel as if there were a block between them. We inhale to lift the hips and lift the arms behind the head. And we exhale one vertebrae at a time to allow the spine to connect to the floor, the arms to release to the earth. Twice more, breathe in for a little bridge pose here. And exhale, release the arms, release the hips. Last time, even though we're staying on the ground today, you can bring in that ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, a slight constriction in the back of the throat with the exhale. And as we gently release the hips back down, we'll guide the knees into the chest and wrap the arms around the knees, pulling the legs in close and massaging our spine as we rock from side to side. Guide the hands to the knees and begin to make big clockwise circles of the knees. So we find this awesome massage for the fleshy part of the hips. We create a little opening in the hips here and then begin to move in your circles the opposite direction. And again, your eyes can be closed through this whole practice or finding a soft gaze, maybe admiring the detail of your ceiling. <laughs> maybe you have the fortune of practicing outside and can watch the sky. And then interlacing the hands on top of that right shin We'll extend the left leg long and pull the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Notice what's happened to your shoulders here. Make sure they're not hunching up towards the ears and take this moment to make some lovely circles with the ankle. And you can also, if it feels good, gently rock that right knee from side to side, a little opening of the hip. Allow your next exhale to gently release that right leg towards the right. The left hand will travel to the left hip to make sure it stays down to the floor. And we're just finding a little opening of the right hip here. If maybe you've already done an intense workout or something right before this video and you feel super open, feel free to catch that right toe and then open up the hip. But Otherwise, we're really moving gently today. We're making sure to be kind to our bodies, giving them the most care we can provide here in this yoga practice. And our next breath in, the knee will come back into center. We interlace the hands behind the thigh, extend the right leg into the air and begin to point and flex the toes. The knee can be super bent. We, like I said, we're not, you might not be warmed up at all. Maybe you are and that leg's really straight and the fingers are wrapped around the toes, but just explore what space have you arrived with in the back of this leg today. And then we'll build a little heat in the core, just a little. So press the belly button towards the spine so we can lift the forehead, lift the shoulders up towards that knee, activating the core rather than pulling too intensely against the leg. Make sure you're using the muscles of the abs there to allow yourself to stay lifted, nose towards the toes, beautiful breath in. 
exhale to gently release the right leg to the floor. We inhale to guide the left knee into the chest. Interlace the hands on top of the shin. Pull that knee in towards the left shoulder. Shoulders rolled away. And we're perhaps we're making lovely circles with that left ankle both directions. And we might also be navigating the knee kind of back and forth. How is my left hip feeling today? What little movements can I take that would feel so great here in this moment? And then an exhale, we'll carefully release that left knee towards the left. So it's just a little opening of the hip. The right hand comes on top of the right hip to keep the hip bone down. And the left hand can rest gently on the left leg to add a little bit more weight, a little bit of a deeper stretch. Notice what's happening in the right foot. Try to keep that active, pressing the leg into the floor. Beautiful breath in and out. And allow an inhalation to gently guide the leg back to center, extending it into the air. Interlace the hands behind the thigh. You can point or flex the foot, maybe make more circles. We might bend and extend the leg. The knee might remain super bent, and that's perfectly fine. And now ask yourself what's going on with the muscles of the face. And if there's anything that you can let go of there, you might need another little circle of the jaw or a little fluttering of the lips to let that go. And then a little activation of the core as we squeeze the belly to the earth. We lift the forehead up to the knee, rolling the shoulders back, using the strength of the belly here keeping the breath calm to help maintain calm in the body. And gently release the shoulders down. Guide the right leg up to meet the left. We're gonna bring our hand under our hips. Just a little bit more core action here. Just because we're on the floor doesn't mean we can't strengthen a little bit. So legs into the air. We're gonna exhale to bring them down halfway and inhale to bring them back up. Release the legs at 75% this time. And then carefully legs active. We press them back up to the sky. Last time the legs come down, they hover, hover, hover. The heels just over the floor, pull the belly button towards the earth squeezing the belly, last breath, and then guide the legs back up to the sky. Happy baby pose as we grab a hold of the outside of our feet, pulling our knees towards the earth, and then rock back and forth. Channel your inner happy baby, whatever feels fun here. A little giggle, maybe a yawn, maybe you stretch one leg and then the other. There's no rules here, just have fun with it. And then an opening for the outside of our hips as we guide the right knee over the left. The left foot can stay on the floor for a moment once you connect the ankle to the knee and then interlace the hands behind the left thigh so we can feel that deep opening on the outside of the right hip, a little figure four action here. Make sure you've maintained a length in the back of the neck. The right foot stays nice and active to protect the knee, but the left foot we can let just dangle, just hang out there. You might notice with each exhalation, you can pull the legs just a little bit closer to the upper body. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Saving some space. Beautiful breath in. And an exhale to release the legs to the right. 
extending the arms like a T and gazing over the left shoulder. Now, if this is too much of a twist, just allow your left knee to be on top of the right knee and find a gentler twist. The right ankle on top of the knee will create a, a deeper sensation if you feel ready for it. And here in this supine twist, we allow all of our muscles to relax. We enjoy the sensation of detox, twisting out the spine. A little massage for all of those organs. And if the mind is wandering off, observe your next round of breath to bring it back to this moment. And inhale, we'll gently guide the legs back to center, planting the right foot to the floor, the left ankle on top of the right knee, interlacing the hands behind the right thigh, activating the left foot. Right foot is released. This is such an intense stretch for me. It feels so good in the outer part of that left hip. We might be pressing the left elbow against the knee. And we're always breathing. Inhaling, sending oxygen into the left hip and exhaling to release any unnecessary tension. Last round of breath. And with the exhale, the foot will release to the earth. As we let the knees drop towards the left side, we open up the arms like a T. Of course, if it feels better to maybe cactus the arms or leave the hands on the body, that's perfectly fine as well. The gaze goes over the right shoulder if it feels okay for the neck. And we allow ourselves to feel supported here. Maybe repeating the mantra, I am supported. Melting the body into the earth. Enjoying the sensation of this twist maintaining the health of our spine. Breathe in, the knees come back to center. A little inversion for us today, legs up the wall pose, so the arms come by the side of the body, and we simply extend both those legs into the air. If you are near a wall and you'd like to make this a little more restorative by allowing the legs to release against the wall, you are more than welcome to do so. If a shoulder stand or deeper inversion is in your practice, you might go for that. But for our purposes here today, this legs up the wall is a wonderful place to be, just allowing the blood to flow in the opposite direction maybe closing our eyes, taking a moment to internalize, to make a connection to our self with a capital S. We'll stay here for three more breaths. We gently allow the feet to travel to the earth. Soles of the feet together, knees open in a Supta Baddha Konasana. The knees are opening like a book. Our last little hip opener here. 
I invite you to bring the right hand to the heart and the left hand to the belly. And we're just going to practice a little pranayama, some breathing exercises to finish this off. So my favorite, if you've done classes with me before, you know, is our box breath. This is a breath that helps if you're having trouble falling asleep, if you're experiencing an extreme moment of anxiety, you can come to this breath to calm the mind, to allow the mind to attach to something else, to provide a bit of a distraction. We breathe in for four, we hold at the top for four, we exhale for four, and we squeeze the air out for four. We begin together, inhale one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, again, breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, three more times on your own. Feel that lifting of the belly and the chest underneath the hands. Maybe you feel the heartbeat, that unique beat that is just yours. You notice if any shifts, any changes occur in the mind, or maybe not, and that's perfectly fine too. Maybe finishing off your last round. Of course, there's no rush. Using the hands, we'll gently close the knees. When you're ready, plant the feet. Allow the knees to drop from one side to the other. Just a last little release of the hips. And then we'll gather our knees into the chest, wrapping our arms around the knees, lifting our forehead up to the knees, and we'll create heat and tension, squeezing every muscle in our body, our face, our fingers, our toes, our core, taking the deepest breath in we've taken yet so far today. And release into everybody's favorite floor pose slash pose in general, your final savasana, the legs extended long on the mat the arms extended heavy by the sides of your body. Allow your eyes to close. I'll repeat our quote just one more time here. All grown up by Jamie Attenberg. You are not not talented. That is a thing that fills you up. You sit with yourself. You allow yourself that pleasure of liking yourself. What if this was enough. I hope you're able to give yourself the opportunity to stay in this savasana for a few moments. I hope you're able to allow yourself the pleasure of liking yourself for at least the next few minutes, <laughs> next few days, this whole week. I know it's one of those very challenging things as we spend a lot of our days with a lot of negative self chatter going on in the mind. It's a muscle that we practice and we have to reverse that muscle, learning to say and do kind things to ourselves. Remembering that we cultivate that practice so that we can then extend that same behavior towards others. 
I bring my thumbs to my third eye, taking a breath in and exhale, bowing forward to you. Namaste. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this video and I hope to see you soon. Have a lovely day.